Big Bang, Earth, Ice, Slices and Dices, a Redwood Sprouts, an Awanichi girl admires a granite dome, since driven out by white men, same Redwood grows larger. A man named Muir admires the same dome, Gorgeous. a painter paints, a photographer shoots, a writer writes. Art, Art brings attention to the park. people are inspired, people come, people exploit, beasts slaughtered, trees downed, money made. Army says, don't do, don't that. do that, more words, more, photos. more paintings. Art <sighs> inspires preservation. The president visits Muir in Yosemite, they stare at a campfire, look up at a dome, rich men come, some exploit, some protect, yeah, yeah. some throw rocks. Rich guy buys and donates land to the government. But over there, a dam's approved. An ancient valley will turn into a water tank. This man is sad. Cool rich guy's like, I'll take it from here, and moves to Washington. National Park Service is born. Stephen Mather, boss man, thinking cap on, says, so here's the deal. People have to come to the parks or else they won't care about saving them. Oh, oh, I know. Automobiles. So he says, roads, roads, more roads. And then, whoa, they're coming. It's working. But other people are like, I could get so rich. And they say, this is my canyon. Also, let's build a dam. Mather declares, no dams, but yes, people, oh, all the people. And just like that, whoa. Well, more people are coming. Now there's money for things like rangers who have the coolest hats and teach people science. science. But like, what about the East Coast? Tons of people over there. And some cool green forest do nothing. Let's save them. Let's save them. Save those no things. Way. No way. These are making me rich. Mather declares, we gotta protect those. Congress responds, we're spending our money on more important stuff. And someone says, those animals look delish. Let's make army food and put them in cans. Meanwhile, students make a play and raise like a hundred bucks for the mountains. But they cost way more. Enter Rockefeller, who's like, I got five mil. There you go. Maria Labrado, formerly Tatuya, the Awanichi girl, comes back to Yosemite for the first time. Looks up at a dome and says, that looks familiar. But this doesn't, and this doesn't, and this doesn't, and this doesn't. And she's like, what happened? And this guy wonders the same thing. Something's not right. Too many crowds. And there's a dead bird hat fad. And wolves are disappearing. And bears are acting like weirdos. I better do something, he says. And he uses science, science to protect animals and gives them space to be wild. Meanwhile, in human world, there's a depression. It's great. So the Prez says, poof, job. The Civilian Conservation Corps, which will guard this wealth of beauty against destruction by men and nature. And they plant trees. Lots of trees. A tree is a celebration of life. And the parks, and the parks, system, is, <coughs> parks system expands. 1939. A black singer is denied the right to perform at Constitution Hall because of the color of her skin. As a response, the National Park Service permits her to perform at Lincoln Memorial. 75,000 people attend. Genius draws no color line. In 41, this guy would give this guy 22 bucks a day to tour the parks taking pictures. A date which will live in infamy. When asked if the parks should shut down in wartime, Adams responded that in times of national stress and sorrow, the people needed precisely what the national parks could offer. He continued for eight years, shooting all the parks but one. Once again, the arts play a huge role in the awareness and preservation of the parks. Post-war, people head west, cities grow, nature threatened, a dam's built, a valley floods. But not here, or here, or here, or here. 63, the masses once again migrate to National Park Service land, demanding equal rights for all citizens. With a park ranger to his left, Dr. King addresses the crowd. It's clear, the parks are America's emblem of equality. They belong to the population. Well, we are all here black and white. Yes! Over the next half decade, the park system expands incredibly, working in all walks of life, all species, with commonality and respect. Space for reunion and reflection. Humans are the most dangerous species on the planet, especially in this era of commodity. But with these parks, we offer restraint. <laughs>